welcome to my channel welcome to vlogmas welcome to my empties people just in case you're new i am andrie welcome to andrie's world today i'm gonna go through my rubbish and share it with you because i am an oversharer people but before we get into all of that go grab yourself your favorite beverage sit let's enjoy my rubbish <laughs> people let's just do this and uh, oh by the way just in case you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. If you leave a comment and a thumbs up, it really helps the algorithm people, whatever that means. Right, all that said and done, let me have a sip of wine and get into the empties. I'm not gonna list all the empties in the description box. If you would like me to link something, for you specifically let me know in the comments and i will do my very best there's a lot of rubbish here people there's things that i cannot link like my hrt and um so and it's a lot of hard work as vlogmas people i need to kind of get these videos out you know we're on a conveyor belt so let's get started <laughs> remember that thumbs up and the comments right oh and subscribe remember all of that right oh, oh I didn't tell you to ring my bell ding a ling right so I have the rubbish sitting here right let's get started quickly and efficiently first item it is cutex nourishing this is what it looks like like so okay this is what I use to remove my nail varnish because these are my own nails and I just do them myself item number two people is my estrogen there we go all i use is estrogen i feel as if i have to say this just in case there's that rare new person on the channel but i only take estrogen for my hrt my hormone my hormone replacement therapy because i do not have a womb people because i had a hysterectomy so i do not need progesterone to protect the womb which i do not have okay i have done a video on hrt which i will link in the description box for you so yes i am a woman of that certain age where i need hrt for all sorts of things <laughs> okay next item is complete oral care dentitex total care was this aldi's i think i picked this up from aldi's this is not what i normally use but sometimes when i'm in a hurry and i need something desperately and i'm in aldi's i grab whatever aldi's have not always a good idea as we've all learned throughout the years of me being on this channel and trying all these things on my face that don't work and having breakouts and all that this was okay i would still use my listerine which is what i like there should be an empty listerine in there the total white one but you know it did it did me for when i didn't have what i normally use which is here it is Listerine Total Care Stay White. Love, love, love. Oh, people, ugh, there's a hair there. Okay. Oh, it's stuck on. I don't like hairs, people. Hairs. Mm. Right, there we go. I mean, I love long hair and I love my hair and all that, but you know, hair that should be in places that it shouldn't be, it's not for me, people. It goes. It disappears. Okay, shampoo. I love this shampoo. I've used it for a very long time always go back to always try different ones but always go back to i'm saying shampoo but this is the conditioner <laughs> okay this is l'oreal lv dream links it really detangles my hair so it makes it easy when i'm brushing my hair out so i normally wash my hair and then i put in the l'oreal conditioner leave it on my hair whilst i wash the rest of my body and do any bits and pieces that i need to do to the rest of my body and then i rinse off the conditioner whatever conditioner i'm using that's how i do it okay so here is the shampoo dream lengths again this is just the same but it's the shampoo there we go focus now i don't use too many vitamins but oh, I don't take too many vitamins but one that I always make sure I have is turmeric curcumin and this one is and ginger and it has organic black pepper because you need black pepper for the turmeric to absorb so 
that's what I take. I take two of these capsules um, daily and turmeric is has been proven to be good for many a thing. Why I started taking it was because I was getting joint pain. So that helped me out. Plus cutting out a lot of sugar, people. <laughs> the only sugar I get is from my alcohol. Cheers. Okay, we have another Cutex Care Nourishing. There we go. There's a lot of different Cutex, but this is the one that I like to use. There we go. When I cannot get the Sally Hansen one that I like. That's what I've been using. That's the one Rico's been picking up for me. Okay, here we have Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro. This is my daily serum. Oh, people. oh, do you know what, now I've got glue all over my fingers. I was trying to glue my, my fairy off my tree keeps falling off. So I've stuck some toilet, you know, the toilet roll thing up her dress, hoping that I'll hold it on. But, and I've just noticed the glue, it's that Bostic glue and it, it's, it's like cheese. You know what I mean? Okay. Back to Estee Lauder, perfectionist, love, I mean, we know what I have been through with, oh, people, it's the light, it's making everything show up. So that's a perfectionist pro, right there. Okay, um, this is another item that is really, really hard to get. I think I've made it extremely popular. It is the number seven cleansing balm. Absolutely love this. Also, I love, you get like the, the cloths, the kind of muslin cloths with it. They are so, Herb. They've got a side that's kind of rough, not well, rough makes it sound like sandpaper, but rough enough to lift your makeup. This lifts your makeup, lifts your eye makeup. Doesn't hurt my eyes when I put it over my eyes. So it's number seven cleansing balm. I absolutely love this. This is my favourite, but I really, really struggle to get this. Um, but yeah, love it. This is very rare for me in my empty. Let me put this bag down because now it's kind of opened up because there's things in it and it's, it should be fine. So I was saying it's very, 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 very rare for me for a product, for me not to finish a product. But it, this, uh, people, it, no. I think it's this. Now I'm saying this broke my arm and it made, it, it did, it didn't help matters. Like I got really quite a lot of dryness around this area. I stopped using it and it got better, but something has set it off again. Like I've got all these red pimples. They're not like, you know like spots have white heads and you know a spot because you want to squeeze it because I've got one growing right on my nose and if there's one place I hate a spot people, it's on my nose. And it's, oh I can't even feel it now, maybe it's going away. But yeah, it's not though, it's pimples but not those, it's not a spot pimple. Do you know what I mean? It's like pimples, it's something and they're dry. So, but there is a lot of scarlet fever going on people. There is, there is. And one of the symptoms of scarlet fever is a rash. It's almost like a dry rash that I've got there. Anyway, so I stopped using this because it was creating all this around my face. So this is the Healthy Glow Glycolic Toner from Aldi La Cura. Not for me, people. Not for me. Too, too strong for my face. And I knew it was too strong because I could feel it when I was using it. Okay, this is the Everclear Refresh for my contact lenses. These come from the company that I order my contacts from. I can't even remember. Vision, Vision Express, I think it is. That's where I order my contacts from. I think it's Vision Express, something like that. Okay, another estrogen. This is a shower gel that we use in the shower when I'm not using one of my special ones. This is the Dove. This is what Rico likes to buy. Absolutely fine. Love it. Um, Moisturising and all of that. Of course, it's just your supermarket. Ooh. I mean, we've squeezed it, but I can hear something in there. Anyway, so this has 0% sulfur, sulfur, sulfate. Uh, nourishing the driest skin, deeply nourishing. Dove, 
We have one dry shampoo, original raspberry and milk drumstick squashies. Didn't like this, would not repurchase this dry shampoo. There was a lot. I mean, I know with dry shampoos you get like a, the, the white stuff that had a lot of the white stuff plus the nozzle broke. I think that was from Home Bargains. Don't know if it's their make or not. <gasps> Babel! I look, look, look. My last, last Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder highlighter. You know how much I love this. I absolutely loved it. Anybody that had one would send me theirs. All those people, Lux and Roses, that didn't like theirs, they would send me it. And that's it, gone. I'm using a Dior one just now, which I am not a fan of at all. Far too much glitter for me, but I'm using it up. I'm using it up on a daily basis. I do not like highlighters with glitter. One reason being because I have contacts, and if glitter gets into my onto my contact lenses, oh, oh, people. Okay, eye solution and another eye solution. I like this. I used to use Asda's own brand, and then found it really hard to get, um, and then started ordering this when I ordered my contact lenses and it's been absolutely fine and then the big dove just another same deeply nourishing that's what it looks like oh this is another thing I'm struggling to get the pearl drops luminous bright whiter looking teeth with one use so this is pink toothpaste and whatever they put in it um the minute you you put it on your teeth your teeth look much much whiter i love this this is a definite repurchase for me if i can get hold of it i'm struggling just now i've been struggling to get hold of it for ages so i am just using whatever rico is using okay oh this was awful this was terrible this is one of the worst products i have ever used in my entire life and i am not exaggerating this is nail studio nail polish remover it is a british brand because there's a british flag on it and it is rubbish i picked this up from b m people do not do not as cheap as it is do not waste your money on this utter rubbish i think it took a whole bottle just to remove nail varnish from one nail no no who has the time for that another eye solution people see how many eye solutions i have to go through i'm sitting here talking to you and i can barely see <laughs> the truth is my my uh, contacts are needed 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 are uh, needing changed i'm holding off people i'm holding off <laughs> so i can have new contact lenses for christmas that's what two three weeks away 14 days my advent calendar said 14 days away two weeks cheers This is a new wine glass. I don't know. Another estrogen. We have here acetone free polish remover Sally Hansen. This must have been one that I had when I sometimes in the past. No, I know why I had that because I dropped a bottle of nail varnish on the carpet and apparently when I googled it, it said to use acetone free nail varnish remover. That's why I had this and I probably used it on my nails as well. Of course, you use acetone free when you have um, acrylics and things like that. Another estrogen people. Whoa, definitely go through my estrogen. I have here Revitalizing Supreme. Here we go, Estee Lauder Moisturizer. Let me go just here. This is my moisturizer that I like to use. We have another moisturizer here. This is Estee Lauder Daywear. This was probably a gift with purchase. There we go, because this is not the one that I normally use. But I don't mind any of the Estee Lauder moisturizers. I don't know if that's going to pick up, but it's just the day wear. Estee Lauder day wear, it says. Nail varnish. We have a Chanel, people. 
I'm never going to be able to see colours. Okay, the camera cut out because I've obviously been talking far too much. So I don't know what products I've missed out, but I've checked back on the footage. And the last bit of footage I was talking about was the Chanel nail varnish. So I took the opportunity to go and grab my glasses. Yes, I'm wearing glasses over contact lenses because that is exactly how blind I am. So this, oh, it's faded. So this is Rouge essential anyway it's 500 no it's, it's not good with the glasses and the contact lenses there we go another nail varnish we have sally hansen this is in the color perfect match there we go so when it comes to nail varnishes i don't really repurchase nail varnishes the only one i always make sure i have in my collection is chanel uh rouge noir that that is a must-have in my collection I absolutely love that color and um, what I have on today is Dior and um, I, I think I said before that I would repurchase the Hermes one that is it color cassette but I don't think I would because my love people my love is Chanel that's where my love lies so we have here Garnier Summer Body Moisturizing Lotion I don't really use this much in the winter unless i'm going to go out but i like to um use this when i have a lot of bare legs because although i have a good color my mediterranean uh coloring um we do go pasty as well you know it's like we do we do we do even though we have a good color we go pasty so sometimes it just needs a little bit of a glow and that is enough for me. I don't need to use fake tan or anything like that because I'm not really pale. But just to add a bit, a bit of oomph to the colour people. So like now Christmas time, dressing up and all of that, I'll probably use it summertime but not really as an everyday use. Okay, what have I got here? Protect and Perfect intense advanced bb facial sun protection so oh this is well worn oh what's in there oh something's oh we'll leave that there i think that's a toner i think that's an estee lauder toner this was fine it's okay this is number seven <coughs> pick up okay so i use this as a sunblock couldn't think of the word there and it comes in two different colors this is medium it is dark medium even for me it was dark we have colgate white teeth so you know this is the kind of thing we use when i don't have my pink stuff rico doesn't like the pink stuff rico's funny about things like that i'm gonna use that okay the <laughs> but i felt the heaviness on my head there okay bronze goddess my summer parfum is bronze goddess love that that's like an everyday perfume for me in the summer uh my base coat nail teaks although i haven't been using it for a while now and my nails are fine but you know if you're struggling to grow your nails if you've just taken off fake nails this is a great product to bring your nails back to where they should be gives them good strength i wasn't able to get this for a while but um i managed to pick it up on amazon this is the toner that i like this is the pixi retinol tonic this is my favorite toner this is what i'm using just now oh my camera doesn't play with me people it doesn't play with me we have soap and glory speed plump hydrogel sheet mask people i can't remember so it's not something i would run out and buy so that's that i must have just picked it up i must have been needing a wee face mask just before i was going on holiday or something like that but again i don't know would i i would probably just buy whatever whatever it's not something that yes i must have in my collection or i must have because it made such an amazing difference no okay this i really really enjoyed but the problem was i could not get it again so so this is the kera oh, i never know how to pronounce this people kera's taste kera anyway so 
I really like this one. This was the red one, but it's not the red one that they have now for the sun. Oh, look. I'll just let you see what it is. But I, I could not get a hold of this. And I had Kelly looking for it as well. This particular one I couldn't get. So this is a shampoo. Did I say it was a shampoo? This is shampoo. So I'm using the green one just now, which is not one that I would repurchase. But I really liked this one. I prefer my L'Oreal to the green one that I'm using now of this make. So is this the shampoo? So I have the shampoo and the conditioner. There we go. Here we go. So this is, so the shampoo bottle is shaped like so and the conditioner is shaped like so 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 these would have been repurchases for me if i could get them i couldn't get i don't know if they've discontinued this one because i couldn't get this particular one like i said i've got the green bottle now but not overly impressed with it i do like this it'll be the extra large large pack the shampoo for dream lengths you know the one i said earlier on I'm flying across the room and i'm not chasing it saline solution sainsbury's didn't like this one although it was good value for money if i had to be honest but i didn't really feel it did the job very well so that's eye solution so i wouldn't repurchase that even though it was good value for money i don't use a lot of these but i always like to have a packet in the house a three in one a cleansing biogradable you know it's the wet ones but for your face these are just aldi's these are fine no reaction to these or anything but i don't use these types of things often i probably use them more on lily's eyes to clean her tears Okay, we have Clinique soap, and I can't get the number seven cleansing balm. What I like to use is the Clinique, which is like double the price, if not more. I can't remember offhand, but it's really good. And if I had to be honest, it does last a lot longer. The Cl Clinique, you need less product than the number seven one. But there we go. That's the Clinique cleansing balm. There we go. Oh, this was the Asda eye solution that I was talking about that I really, really liked, but um, really, really hard to get. The basket's getting quite low now, so we have less rubbish. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a uh, moisturiser, so this is the Rituals. Uh, was this a moisturiser or a... I think it was a moisturiser. It was lovely. I loved all the products that I got from that. I'm going to try again with my glasses. People re Sakura. A ritual of Sakura. Organic. It was lovely. Loved the scent of it. Loved the way it made me feel. Loved everything about it. That's, this was a gift. It was a gift set that I got and I really, really enjoyed it. And it's finished. Uh, oh, these are the interdental brushes that you clean. And I, I cannot not use these. I have to use these on a daily. I mean, I, if I brush my teeth and I don't use one of these interdental brushes, I feel as if my teeth uh, haven't cleaned them properly. But what's really weird, even though I clean these all, I use these all the time. When I was at the dentist the other day and he cleaned my teeth, he just does a quick clean. Like Rico has to go and see a hygienist because he gets that build up in between his teeth. I don't really get that. I don't suffer from that. Um, but what I do get is here, it's really weird now because since he's cleaned my teeth, I feel as if I've got a gap in my front tooth there and I can feel the gap with my tongue and I keep putting my tongue there. <laughs> it's really weird. But... I never ever noticed that before he cleaned my teeth so obviously it, I must get a build up there because I can feel that gap there in my teeth so I'm making a point now when I do the brush that I bring the brush all the way up so I'm not just doing this with the brush I'm kind of doing this I'm gonna end up with <laughs> a big gap where I'm at it I'm quite paranoid about my teeth I'm one of those paranoid brushes you know i never feel as if i've brushed enough i go over it and over it and over it. So it's a big process for me it cosmetics cc 
cream and I love this. I really love this, okay? I love the way it looks. The It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, what I do not like about it, it transfers. I mean, the minute you, it doesn't, it, it just seems to sit over your face. So if you put your hands on it, you're going to get it on your hands. Anything that touches your face after you've applied this, it will, it, this is the thing that I don't like about it. And that's why I haven't repurchased it again but it, it does have a so it has a uva and a uvb and an spf 50 um i love the color of this your skin skin but better really 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 enjoyed this but like i said i hated the way it just got everywhere it really got everywhere so it doesn't it's, it's almost as if it doesn't dry when it's not dry like it just sits there Okay, we have another Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus my moisturizer that I like to use. It makes me look so youthful. That's in the jeans, people. It's in the jeans. These creams, you know, as long as a cream, I don't react to it. I don't have any... Mm, I get on with it. But does it make you look younger? No, of course it doesn't. Root Perfect... There we go. I have now, I'm now using a L'Oreal one, which I really do prefer because these ones are all the wrong colour for me. And I did like the root, the L'Oreal touch-up root thing much better because I could get different colours. Can you see how much I do my nails, people? It's another Cutex. There we go. Nourishing. We have a Duo Mascara. This used to be my absolutely favourite mascara, but I'm not spending the money on that anymore because I just use a Primark one. I use the Max Factor um, primer and also I use um, a serum for my eyelashes, Revitalash, which I have also done a video on, which I also will link below for you. If I remember, and if I don't, remind me. It's a top coat, my absolutely favourite top coat. By the way, I, I have compared this in the past to the Dior top coat, which I absolutely loved and always bought until I discovered the Essie one. So, if you use the Dior top coat, this is as good. It dries really quickly on your nails, doesn't smudge your nails. Honestly, if you've never tried this Essie Top Coat, try it. What I used to find with the Dior Top Coat was, as much as I loved it, it would clog up really quickly after a few uses. So you would end up with quite a lot of the product at the bottom quite at the bottom quite cloggy. We have another um, nail varnish here. This is a Jessica. Um, colour has worn off but it's a metallic mauve colour. Again, like I said, I don't repurchase nail varnishes colours off because people, I'm that person. What is this? Oh, I think this was one of those products yeah so this is a colorless kind of eyebrow gel eyelash gel i like these things for the gym so instead of putting mascara on um i like to use the colorless ones and then i don't worry about panda eyes but it just gives you a bit of something we have another bronze goddess there we go we have Sally Hansen. I do like the Sally Hansen nail varnishes, by the way. Um, so this is in the colour. This was a lovely colour, obviously, um, because I've used it. Tidal Wave. This was a lovely blue. There we go. Another red um, Chanel. This is in the number 687 Phoenix. I think this is one of their classics. It's a lovely red as well. Um, we have an OPI, which is totally worn off. Looks like a whole curtain. It's another metallic. It's kind of a brownie colour. There we go. So we have Revitalift um, filler from... Who was this? What was this make? Oh, come on. 
L'Oreal. It's a L'Oreal. Again, not something that I would repurchase. There we go. I probably... Do you know what I liked about this? I liked the applicator of this. I might wash it and use it with the Estee Lauder, by the way, because I like the balls. But, yeah, this was the eye thing and I didn't like it. The only eye products I can use are Estee Lauder. We have another Essie top coat. That's not my top coat that I'm using. No, it's totally dry. Another Essie top coat. There we go. An Estee Lauder Advanced Night Pro Eye. If I remember... Oh. Oh, I might use, leave that one instead. Actually, leave that there. I might use that instead to apply. It, because the one I'm using is the wee pot just now. Uh, so these are all samples. Uh, Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I'm using the big one of this just now. So it just looks like that bottle but much bigger. Yes, I've got an Essie here. And the colour Making Me Happy. Making Me Happy people. Making Me Happy. Another red. I do like a red now varnish. There we go. Uh, another Estee Lauder product. Estee Lauder Revitalising Supreme. I, that's a wee sample. I think I bought the full uh, version of this. So I use a, a night Estee Lauder night one and an Estee Lauder day one as well. This is a little sample of the Revitalizing Supreme Moisturizer. We have here uh, Calvin Klein Nail Varnish. It's blended color it says. I don't know what color it was, but it was, it was a really lovely color. It was a black with a sparkle in it. It was really, really lovely. Obviously, I enjoyed it. This is an Essie. This came in a pack of, I think it was three, back in the saddle. These were the matte ones, but I always used top coat over it and made it shiny. I don't like a matte nail varnish. I like as much gloss and as much shine, people, as possible. We have here a, a Tom Ford. This will be in one of my Soleil Blanc. So that was a, a more of a summer perfume for me. We have an Estee Lauder. <laughs> People, <laughs> tell me that's not well used. I love Estee Lauder um, lipsticks. I've always said that. What colour was this? This, this will be really old. So you'll probably not be able to get the colour. And it's the colour Rose Tea. It was a lovely colour. It was almost like my lips, but just slightly better it was nice it's nice for like everyday use you just want something on your lips and not very much like i said if you've never tried estee lauder lipsticks they're really really good this must be a pre-mark lip liner which i said i would never get again but i actually did because they're a bargain they're like a pound does it say oh it says scarlet it's scarlet there we go managed to see it the final item is an Estee Lauder Micro Essence. Really, really nice. Really, really enjoyed it. But I tend to use, it's like a toner. I tend to use um, the Pixi one, the Retinol Pixi one. So that was a little sample. That's it, people. Thank you so much for sitting through me and my rubbish, which is all over my floor now because it's been missing the bag. If you would like to see more videos from me and would like to join me for the rest of Vlogmas if you haven't already, I'm going to link a video here, here. And if you're not already subscribed, <laughs> can speak, press A right here. And I'll see you throughout the month of December. Cheers!